Agent Nation. It's your host right here, Agent Father Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. I uh, shouldn't be this excited, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff has went down. It's my job to keep you in touch. Now, I don't anticipate I'm gonna be doing many of these types of videos, because as I usually say, they don't help whatsoever. 2K never listens to me. Besides the point though, a lot of shenanigans went down yesterday, and if you weren't on Twitter, you missed out on all the juiciness, but thank God Father Beamstar is here to save the day. Keep you in tune with all the news, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to the channel, make sure to drop a like, and donate one million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. One million dollar donations accepted all the time, anytime, I'm trying to get rich. For our first story of the day, NBA 2K20 launched in the worst way possible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know how to describe to you the amount of problems, bugs, and glitches with the game. At this point, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but it has to be done because in a rare, in a very rare sequence of events, the entire community came together last night in protest. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, let's talk. Now, we know there's been plenty of issues with the game. You go to the stats, your game crashes. You're just walking around the park for some reason, your guy is lagging. You're not even in a game yet, and you're just walking and he's lagging. It got real bad last night, man. It reached a climax. There's been a lot of people growingly frustrated that their badge and rep progress has stopped. So for whatever reason, they're playing the game, and now they're getting no more progress, and there's no fix in sight. The list of people experiencing that problem continues to grow, and 2K hasn't said a goddamn thing about it. LD2K did respond at some point. We're gonna get into all the juicy in a moment, okay? So out of nowhere last night, Agent Zero was playing some Pro-Am, finishes a game, and his team gets deleted. Out of nowhere, it just vanished into thin air. I was frustrated. Guess I can't play 2K. Every park game I play, I lag out. I tried playing 3v3 Pro-Am, but my team vanished. And then I heard it was happening to dozens and dozens and dozens of other people. So I said, I'm off for the night. I'm going to sleep. Agent Zero woke up five hours later at 5 a.m., ladies and gentlemen, and there was an outrage on Twitter. Everybody, no matter what you thought about the next person, disappointed that a game that released for $60 can be out in such poor, garbage conditions. It's not even playable. It's not playable. All right, so let's get to some of those tweets. The hashtag Fix2K20 went very viral. It was the number one and two trend on Twitter all night. Cash Nasty tweeted, reply with, reply that, all right, I thought that I maybe didn't know English, but apparently he doesn't. Reply with that you guys know Cash, bro. What happened, bro? Come on, man. I don't even want to read that tweet no more. I give up. G-Man tweeted, hashtag Fix2K20. Retweet, like, comment so we can get this trending. I just woke up and I see hashtag Fix2K20 trending. I can't handle all these glitches. All my boys got stuck rep bars. You can cook whole meals during these loading screens. Let's run it up. Patch the game ASAP, Baluba. Even Annoying got in on the mix saying hashtag Fix2K20 with the light skin fist emoji. Nadex though, he wasn't feeling it. He quote tweeted taking some shots. You were just praising 2K earlier. This was in reference to a tweet Annoying put out saying, if you think it's trash, just go sell it. I don't see the problem. Annoying has been a proponent that 2K20 is not that bad. You just have to get used to it and get your badges first before you rush to judgment. Joe Knows says, any content creator tweeting fix 2K20 can forget about getting a logo, community day invite, and any other perks you may be looking for. <laughs> After yet, Kenny got in on the mix. Fix 2K20, all for one. Agent Beams. Oh, my fault. Can't, can't confuse the two. That would be wrong of me. Agent Zero got in on the mix, ladies and gentlemen. As he's been saying on this channel many times, he tweeted, apply pressure. Hire more devs, NBA 2K, hashtag fix 2K20, ladies and gentlemen. Because if we're being honest, we can do some temporary fixes, right? Maybe the game speed, maybe the shooting. I don't know, what do you want changed? I don't know. But if you want some permanent change, what do we have to do? Well, say it with me now. Yeah. Shakedown put out a tweet saying, hashtag fix 2K20, let's get it done. Even LSK was defending himself. People were taking shots. He responded saying, nah bro, what we played and what we talked about wasn't what got released. I mean, there's clips and screenshots on what 2K told you, me, everyone. 
Don't put that on me or other influencers because right now I'm just as lost as you. I'm tired of the BS thrown my way like damn, hashtag fix 2K20. Things got juicy, guys. Yo, real juicy, Keemstar put this tweet out. Well then, hashtag fix 2K20. Ladies and gentlemen, number one on trending, and number two on trending was Fire Ronnie. <laughs> we'll get to that a little bit later. Birdman says, crazy all these random YouTubers and media who know nothing about 2K were quick to talk about the gambling. Now the game is out and broken. They won't say a word, but will pretend they care about the community. That's a direct shot at folks like Angry Joe who went in on NBA 2K for its microtransaction and gambling problems. Now, although I agree with Angry Joe that microtransactions have gone too far, the examples he was giving in his video were inaccurate because you didn't have to pay for the slot machine stuff on the triple threat in my team. There's plenty of different valid ways you could take shots at 2K when it comes to microtransactions. What he did in his video wasn't it. Los. For the love of God, hashtag fix 2K20. Yo, it goes on and on and on. There's people who the My Career tab just disappeared. It's not even there no more. This guy just can't even play My Career anymore. He just lost that ability. What's game breaking is that I haven't even looked at my phone since the game's been out. I can't see my VIP stats. I can't invite nobody to squad or join squads without getting blue screened. I don't even know what my record is. LMAO, hashtag fix 2K20. Man, it wasn't just YouTubers though. The game, the rapper. Yo, top five rapper, no cap. He tweeted, fix 2K20 with the angry swearing emoji. What? Cause you know how it goes. 2K does not listen to me and you. We're in the community. They couldn't care less about us. They listen to the people outside, the celebrities, the other content creators that don't upload 2K, all those guys. Yo, Ronnie 2K is in your DMs. Yo, what, what would you like changed about the game? You, you, want, you want to make this change right here? We got you. On the next patch, in one week, we're gonna make that just for you. Doesn't really apply to the game because I know he's actually a serious gamer. Someone told me he was like top five in the Madden leaderboards. So anyway, besides the point. Okay, so that was the first story of the day. Hashtag fix 2K20 was trending. Everybody got in on it, literally the entire community. For our next story of the day, when it comes to changes in NBA 2K20, we received a patch today. A lot of people thought that patch was gonna fix a lot of the problems people were having, like the fact that they were making no progress towards their badges or their rep, all the glitches and bugs that caused the game to crash, maybe increasing the servers, oh my goodness. Nope, it did not do any of that. It seems that the patch that was released today was supposed to be a day one patch. We didn't get any patch notes that came with it, at least when I'm recording this video. It's been like four or five hours since that patch release. And honestly, everybody I've spoken to hasn't noticed any bit of difference between how it played before and after the patch. So presumably, it had nothing to do with gameplay. But earlier this morning, Mike Wang did an update to the game before the patch, which increased the speed. Yeah, it was like a speed buff, so people move around quicker off ball. Dignify put out this tweet saying, speed buff is crazy, lol. Don't know exactly why they did it. Everything is so fast now. The common complaint people were having was that now with the speed buff, big men stretch bigs glass cleaners move at the same speed as guards. That's a problem. Because one of the things the developers were so proud about before the game launched was the fact that there is a speed gap. That's the word we're using, ladies and gentlemen, a speed gap. So the people with, that, are, that have faster characters, you can feel that difference on the court. I do think the speed of the game should be increased a little bit, but not if it comes at the cost of the speed gap, because then at, that, at that point, athleticism attributes literally don't matter at all. Now the NBA 2K developers have been eerily quiet while all this was going on. LD2K broke the silence on Twitter, putting out this tweet. Thanks to NBA 2K on Reddit for helping compile feedback, known issues for our teams, forwarded it all onto the producers as well as been actively passing on feedback that I'm seeing from here. We'll pass on an update when I receive one, hashtag NBA 2K20. <laughs> I can't tell Steezo was memeing. He put out this tweet saying, game speed too slow still, needs a buff. Mike Wang decided to break the silence after the update this morning, putting out this tweet saying, the park speeds were boosted a bit further than desired and will be toned down ASAP, apologies. Now, Mike Wang, this is what I like to see, all right? 
Like, we don't expect you to be perfect. Everybody here on this channel already knows. Yeah, sometimes it's your fault, all right, Mike Wang? Sometimes it is your fault. But most of the time, you could have solved the problem by hiring more developers, and that is not in your control. You just do what you can. So when you communicate with everybody saying like, yeah, we did make this change, it went a little too far. I appreciate that. It's better than us being left in the dark. Thank you. Hank the Tank tweeted saying, can we please get a big stamina buff for playmaking guards? I literally do one move and I'm blinking already. It also doesn't help that you can only get one blue bar of Gatorade on your player this year. Baluba, LD2K, everyone might as well be centers then. Mmm. Cause the dribblers and the playmakers are saying, yo, how do I do one, two dribble moves and I'm gas? Am I not supposed to be an athlete? It's ruining the fun of the game. Mike Wang responded to Hank the Tank. He said, there was a slight stamina buff this morning but also try equipping handles for days. Now, Mike Wang, I'm here to tell you right now, that stamina buff was so small, it was not even noticeable, my guy. You gotta go a little bit higher, all right? And while all this was going on, people were incredibly frustrated saying things like, hey, why are you increasing game speed and stamina? We can't even upgrade our badges in progress. So let's get our priorities straight. But in Mike Wang's defense, some of this stuff can be done with the morning update. Some of the stuff needs an entire patch, right? And so the stuff that needs a patch is gonna take a minute because the patch has to be approved by Sony and Microsoft. Now, hire more people. We get patches out way faster that way. I'm telling you guys, I have the solution to everything. If 2K would just listen to me, I swear this game would be perfect, bro. It would be so perfect. But hey, that's besides the point. Tysino tweeted saying that 7.7 gigabyte patch literally did nothing. VIP stats still blue screens. Rep still doesn't move for people. My court still blue screens. What did it actually do then? That Tysino is a very, very good question. One I hope we get an answer to sometime soon. G Size got in saying fix 2K20 is in shambles. Everyone has a complaint. Drop a comment on what you think should be fixed. I have act. You had no access, G man. I mean, sorry, G Size. You had no access, my guy. If you had access, the game would be flawless. The people making the decisions are the executives at the top because they control what the money is spent on. None of us have any control. That's why I don't even like making videos angry no more because I tried that for a couple years. And what did it do? We had 2K18! So I knew I wasn't worth If 2K18 dropped after a year of me sitting here complaining, then I'm not helpful. This doesn't work. But. I had a little bit of hope today, seeing everyone come together talking about some fixed 2K20. Nadex put out this tweet summarizing some of the issues he was having. Unfreeze rep bars, respect players, faster loading screens, buff shooting slightly, buff stamina slightly, faster batch progression, lower VC prices, huge rep boost for all of 2K20, stop being lazy and have the game ready, people spend $100 to play a beta every year. Nadex, I like the new you, all right, man? The old you used to get in drama over petty stuff, you know what I mean? He used to, the new you, the new you is on top of his game, killing it on DLive and being absolutely real. I like this new Nadex, if I'm being honest here, okay? Champ decided to do a throwback to when Dr. Disrespect was reacting to, I believe it was NBA 2K18. Watch the clip. NBA 2K18 is the biggest, most pathetic basketball game in the history of the industry. It's a money grabbing, makes me want to throw up all over my keyboard mess. And again, it starts at the very tippity top. Why aren't they focusing on core goals for the game? Being more physics based, less random animations. He's right, it starts at the tippity top, ladies and gentlemen. Who's at the tippity top of NBA 2K? Well look guys, it's Strauss Zelnick. <laughs> That's the CEO of Take Two, man. That's the guy who's making the decisions. You don't think they consult with him before they make a budgeting decision? And they're like, hmm, we're gonna spend zero dollars on servers this year. Hey, Strauss, is that okay with you? And he goes, yeah. Is there any way we can spend less than zero dollars? And they look at him and go, we'll figure it out, Strauss. It's all about saving money over here on this side. I think I'm pretty sure that's how the conversations go over at Take Two. For our story of the day, Hey, um, did you guys know Stretch Bigs are the worst build in the game? I was gonna make a totally separate video about it, and I still might, but the build is absolutely horrible. A couple, a few days ago, I made a video saying Stretch Big might be the very safe build I'm gonna go with until I can figure out what works. Letting you know right now, I've talked to plenty of try-hard Stretch Bigs. I've talked to me, and both of, all of us have come to the conclusion Stretch Bigs are horrible. I, I don't know 
what it is, bro. We don't hit whites. I'm better off fading and shooting post fades than standing shots. Even though my three point shot's like a 90. Yo, it, it does not make any sense to me, but I made a new build. I'm tired of grinding that garbage ass build. Uh, C4 put out this tweet saying, pray for my man's wizard, stretches and misses every shot. It's hitting him hard. And there's a screenshot here <laughs> of a hole that he made in his wall. And wizard blocked him. Wow, that's the end of a friendship right there. So um, a lot of the times I'll get tweets like this one here saying, hashtag fix NBA 2K20, we need Agent and Swantown, the dev team for the community, period. What is that gonna accomplish? How do you guys not understand this by this point? If I worked for 2K, I wouldn't be able to make videos like this. You think Mike Wang is fantastic sitting there thrilled that you guys are being fleeced with your microtransactions? No, there's no way they like that because they don't benefit from it, but they catch the heat for it. But why can't, why doesn't Mike Wang or any of the other developers hop on a video and say, yeah, those practices, they're, you know, morally corrupt, whatever, whatever. It's because they work for the company. They can't say that stuff, even if they think it. I don't have to talk to them to know that they don't like that. Some guy from the tippity top comes down to the dev studio and says, yo, this is what you're doing with the game this year. And they have to make it work. So that's, that's what will happen with me if I worked for 2K in any capacity. Things escalated even further for our next story of the day because people put up a petition trying to fire Ronnie 2K for false advertising. Petition goes as follows. Uh, Rankle is counting on you. He needs your help to fire. <laughs> so there was a change.org petition that has 50,000 petitions. What? So people ask me, because along with Fix 2K20, Fire Ronnie 2K was also trending. I tried to tell people, Ronnie's an employee. The guy works for the company. So if Ronnie gets fired, they're just gonna go to human resources and hire an even better liar. They're literally gonna sit there in the interview and be like, all right, how many people have you bamboozled in your career? They're not gonna, it's gonna get worse. On top of that, they can't fire Ronnie because he has all the connections with all the celebrities and the NBA players that they need for their game, so they would never fire him. So is this pointless? Yes. Is it kind of funny? Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> how do I unfreeze my rep? Reinstall 2K19, heard that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's a W, 10 out of 10 tweet right there, grinding. There's so much to unpack, man, and it's only been like, what is it, day four or five right now of 2K20's launch? And so it's like, I get it. I feel for the developers because they're catching a lot of heat right now. And they're probably not sleeping if we're being honest. And it's not even really their fault. We know whose fault it is. Shout out to them, I hope you guys figured it out, man, and don't mess it up even further. That's all there was for the news. It was a really, really crazy night of unity. Weirdly enough, in the NBA 2K community, it was weird seeing everybody get together. If you guys enjoyed the video, man, it's Agent. It, oh, it's Father Beam Star. Make sure to drop a like. But hey, look, there's video there. Boom, right there. Bow. Grak. Gra. You can click any one of those. And I'll, I'll be very happy. So happy. All right.